So what we have here is Nokia 1.4, probably one of the most talked about phones lately because of the brilliant price of 89.99 British pounds. So it's about 100 US dollars. And with that cheap price, it comes with a brilliant spec. So if you actually look at the back, uh, this is a, a large immersive display unit. It has 6.5 inch of HD plus 20 by nine. Uh, capture details in low light. So it comes with eight megapixel and two megapixel dual rear camera with the five megapixel front camera and a night mode as well. That's brilliant. Two day battery life. So it comes with 4,000 milliamp hour of battery. I know how good 4,000 milliamp is because my Galaxy S20 Ultra is about 4,800 uh, milliamp hours and you could use it for full day and it still goes on um, and then it comes with the fingerprint sensor just like google pixel phone um, biometric security and fast and efficient um, performance of qualcomm 215 mobile platform google assistant button and two years of android upgrade available as well so i would say it's already i can see that it's really brilliant for its price but so um, but let's get on to the unboxing with my brilliant japanese samurai letter opener so here it goes brilliant so it slides right out um, and what we have here i thought we we're gonna go with the blue but it's actually the black unit or the dark gray i like the color it's all right um it's pretty much similar thickness of it okay since it's from finland what they actually notice is actually for uk so they kindly provided me with the uk power socket with the usb um, and also the usb cable itself and this will be what for the okay so this is micro usb unfortunately not the usb c and uh that's where you put in the sim card just so you know you can actually uh, put in two sim cards and one memory stick as well right just to give you an idea this has a default of 32 gigabytes of internal storage in other words it's not going to be enough so make sure you buy another memory card uh, next to your sim card to be slotted to expand the memory because i could assure you 32 gigabytes nowadays is not enough i got 120 apps to download and um, i don't think it's gonna work but just so you know five megapixel and two megapixel i presume fingerprint reader nokia that's the material on the back in the front screen you got the also the um camera as well oh sorry i think let's have a look again it was um 8 megapixel and 2 megapixel and 5 megapixel on the front. Sorry, apologies for that. And um, we got the screen. So if you're still a fan of earphone jacks, it has one here. And also, um, even though I peeled off the default screen protector, there's another screen protector. I don't know whether you can see that, that I presume you have to keep in. You've got the Nokia there. I can't see any speaker at all, but I think they have done quite well for themselves. So actually, let's turn it on, shall we? Okay, there's a bit of a vibration and it's on. Just so you know, there's one button similar on each end. And I think this is the power button and probably this is for the Google Assistant button. Um, but this is taking ages. I presume this is up and down. And um, yeah, this is live. I'm not really cut shorting any of the video clips actually so i'm waiting and waiting we got the nokia with the sound and welcome so the display is pretty good actually but there's bit of the bezel on the bottom and the triangular bit sticking out okay so it has been almost 10 15 minutes and it's still updating and installing the system so just so you know this will happen when you actually get yours as well there you go so fingerprint uh, registration just like pixel phone oh cool so we could also do facial recognition as well that's brilliant okay so the um, face unlock seems to be spot on actually there's one or two seconds of delays it's not immediate but it does the job um, i'm actually constantly checking it yeah that's pretty good but i wish they could do it faster but what do you expect there's only 89.99 British pounds. So if you want to trigger the Google Assistant, all you need to do is uh, press the button here on the left-hand side. So if you press it, 
that's how Google Assistant will be triggered, okay? Okay, so let's carry out the camera test, shall we? Um, yeah, I mean, that's not that good, is it? I mean, this is supposed to be 8 megapixel camera. Um, also, let's do some video check as well. Um, I think the video itself might... Okay, so let's see the focusing. Video might be actually better than the photo. Okay, so I'm filming the... Um, this le Japanese samurai letter opener, as you can see. Can you zoom in? Okay, so you can zoom right in, but can it actually f get the focus of this letter made in Japan? Not really. Um, should I just zoom out a bit? Well, okay, here it goes. So there's a bit of a blurriness and trouble with focusing, but what do you expect? I mean, that's better. So you have to do this way, right? All right, so let's do front camera test, shall we? Um, okay, so zoom in and take photo. So that's how it looks, okay? Now let's try out how good the um, sound quality is on my YouTube channel. Okay, so uh, the video test again. This is the maximum volume. So the main sound seems to be coming out from here. And if I close that, that's all the sound coming from. I thought the sound will come from here, but okay. It's been extremely quiet for many, many months now. But finally, on Kickstarter, there's this new campaign for a robot called Scout, the tiny AI power. It's not bad, actually, but um, but once you actually block that, it's completely silence off, isn't it? Okay, because it takes ages to test on the Geekbench 5, I decided to run the uh, GPU Mark benchmark. And here we have it on a 100%. But uh, there's a bit of a pause there. Let's see how the graphic comes along. So can you see that? Um, that's something I wanted to show you guys to give you an idea. Uh, what's sort of like a, a performance level we have for this phone, okay? So FPS minute is 6, FPS max is 150, average of 18. And you see all these figures as well. So just to give you an idea overall is that it's a model of HMD um, Global Nokia 1.4, Android 10 and ARM Qualcomm. And the com compute is um, Android 10. Adreno, okay, 308, GPU and resolution of 720 by 1600 and display PPI of 269. So I just installed PUBG and um, I actually been waiting for five minutes to actually download the actual memory and then update. And this is what's called um, compiling resources and it's taking ages. So I hope this is not gonna happen every single time but you can see how slow this device is so i'm starting to get the idea that it's not really ideal to play pubg with this um, nokia 1.4 and that's the graphic you can see um is it playable i don't know what you guys think so the graphic is not that bad actually yeah i mean you can see that there's a bit of a pause skips of screens and um, I don't think it's playable. Do you? I mean, it's just this constant pause, but um, sometimes it's smooth, sometimes it's not, but generally it, there's just sense of this skip and uh, so on. But I guess some of you might consider it to be playable or not, but there might be some crucial moment that you have to make a right aim that this is not going to help at all. Some of the, these pause or slowing down and so on. So overall, my impression of this phone is that it's doable. So um, you can play PUBG and you can run most of the software, but expect some delays or specifically the ones that needs high performance, you're going to experience a major delay in updates. And one of the things that I'm disappointed about is the internal memory has only 32 gigabytes. So make sure if you especially like to take photos or record videos and so on, which I wouldn't recommend because it only has eight megabytes of, of um, camera quality. So, but 
if you do want to take photos and video with it you will definitely need a uh, extra memory card to put in when you hold it up it's light so it does feel like yeah it's not flagship phone but you're only paying 89 99 british pounds for it so about 100 quid so 100 uh, us dollars um but it's it feels light and especially when you press the keyboard the way how it vibrates reminds you how cheap this phone is but then again for its price it has the google assistant function also the fingerprint reader on the back and the uh, facial recognition on the front um, so if you want to use it as a backup phone then or if you are very light uh, smartphone user this is a perfect solution for you so uh, if you are into that side please do make sure you get one of these phones but if you are into the flagship phones that you want to play all these miracles and stuff i definitely wouldn't recommend this phone at all anyway i hope this video gives you an idea of what this phone is about this nokia 1.4 the reality of it comparing to the expectation that you had but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech all the best bye bye